All right, we are on Project RGA Part 2. Um, I've been slowly, very slowly, working on this thing over the past couple of weeks, you know, when I get a couple hours here or there, you know, to work on it in sand. And uh, we're pretty much at the finishing stage, um, other than some wood filling I have to do and a recent repair I had to make to the body due to my own error. And I will show you what that is right now. So, something I did know, but did not take into account when sanding this guitar, was in the past, somebody has routed out the controls just to get them a little closer to the uh, top, I suppose. And in doing so, made the top extra thin, so I sanded through it. And I'm very lucky to have a pretty good source of knowledge local to me from my local woodcraft store. We got some old guys in there that really know their way around. And they turned me on to this stuff. And it's basically like a super glue, but it builds up really, really nice. So I have like a nice bead in here. And you may not be able to tell here on the camera, but it, it's, it's pretty thick. And it's actually probably thicker than it ever was before. So if anything, it's probably got a little bit better structural integrity now. But the drawback is, is now I have this mark here. The little, little bit of black you see here is actually the, uh, that CA glue where it came through the, the hole I sanded. And I sanded it back down after I put the CA on there. But I wasn't comfortable sanding anymore to like get any kind of a divot there to, to really feed some wood filler into and have it stick well. And uh, so just with what little bit of sanding I did do on the wood filler, you have a little bit coming through. So I don't think there's going to be much I can do about that. Maybe a more experienced uh, luthier or something could, could repair that better, but I am not that. So that's not going to happen here. Um, but on the bright side... The, the knob covers it up okay. Um, let me see if it'll stay there. There. So it covers it up okay. It's not as noticeable as I thought it was going to be. And so that's nice. If anything, you might take the knob off and like, oh, it looks like a knob sweep or something. Like the old sweep marks you'll see when you pull old knobs off of other guitars. But, I mean, it's it was a hole. So I think I'm lucky to be where I'm at. Um, other than that, like I said, I had wood filling left to do. Which I have... Let me move these out of the way. I have saved up my sanding dust from dust from sanding the back of this thing, so this is all mahogany that I will mix with wood glue to make my own filler, and hopefully it'll it'll match as good as you can hope. And I can fill these guys in. Um, the other couple dings I had that were more towards the the back scratch, the not scratch plate, but the input jack. Those are actually kind of sanding out, so I'm going to do a couple more rounds on the on the outsides of this guitar and see if I can't get these things out. If I can, that's excellent. If not, I'll dig that little bit of wood filler out and just put it in. Put in the mahogany stuff and hopefully uh, they'll never know they were there. And uh, other than that, the only other issues I had with this was sanding in these horns. Um, these horns had a lot of... I mean, I'm assuming it was old finish, plus just people's greasy digits all over the guitars over the years, so it's, yeah, it, it was bad. It was extra dark and just dingy looking, so I ended up having to go buy a tool, which actually, this thing is awesome. So you just cut your own sandpaper, put it in there, and then lock it into place with this little oblong tube, and it goes on your drill. Here, I'll focus it, there you go. Um, this is a hundred grit that's on here and that took all of this old stuff off and probably like 20 minutes of work and then all I had to do was you know finish sanding on it and it looks awesome um, just wiping this thing down with naphtha I feel like it's gonna turn out really good um, another couple changes I've made are these old conical washers that were used for um, the neck bolts were black and seeing as I'm going with a with a satin chrome satin hardware type type feel to this I found silver ones 
I'm going to try and take them to a fab shop where I used to work and see if they'll sandblast them for me. And if they will, that'll be I feel like that'll be a really nice touch. So I'll be uh, I'm anticipating doing that here in the next couple weeks. And we'll we'll see if they'll do it for me. Hopefully they will. I mean, I don't mind paying, so I'd like to think they'll do it. Uh, other than that, um, I'm not doing tongue oil finish anymore. It's just, it's way too much curing time. I mean, I'd, I'd work on this guitar, get it all done, and then it would have to hang up in my closet for a month before I ever got to put it together. And that would, that weight would drive me bonkers. And it's not on the time schedule now that I'm, that I'm looking to get it done in. I'm trying to have it done in November. Um, so I switched to a, uh, I guess you can call it a true oil var variant. Um, it's made by Crimson Guitars. They just call it penetrating finishing oil. Um, but it's essentially the same. It goes on the exact same way true oil does. And it's, you know, and it hardens up a lot quicker. So I could be playing it within a couple of days. So that's, I'm happy about that. The only drawback is, is it's kind of back ordered right now. So I'm hoping to get it next week. And I can start putting oil on this guitar. We'll just have to see. Uh, if that's the case, I'm going to do the filler just before I do that. And I will make a separate video for me just doing the filler here on this on these three scratches. Just so we can kind of see how it turns out. Because these are the main types of things that I really wanted to document with this. Um, I think that's about it. So um, any suggestions, comments, whatever, man. Just leave them below. I'm, I'd be curious to hear anybody's input. Thanks.